your short white male wearing a hat has a machine gun currently in front of the building. We got three units arriving. He is outside in the parking lot. He said he's in a black Buick rendezvous. BMS is in route. Attention all units, there is only one shooter, gunshot wound to the head. He is down. Reload to all units on FedEx. Breaking news, there's been another deadly mass shooting in America. At least eight people were shot and killed in a shooting late Thursday night at a FedEx facility. Um, Thursday night, I get on Twitter and I just see, like, hashtags, clips of people saying that there was a shooting at FedEx. A lot of my family works there. I have about 30 family members that work there. And it ended up being like 12 or 13 of them were there. We are finally seeing the faces of all eight people who were killed Thursday night while working at FedEx here in Indy. Among the victims, four members of the Sikh community. 90% of the workers at this facility are Sikh. I started getting calls. I didn't pay any attention because you don't expect this. This could happen. There is no protocol for these things. I don't know what to do. 66-year-old Amarji Kaur Johal worked at the FedEx sorting facility to help support her family. She was getting off her shift. We were able to find everybody except for her. Well, my mother is not answering her phone. She's nowhere to be found. Her car is still outside in the parking lot. You could see it. But we just didn't understand how to process what happened. America has been my home for the past 56 years. I was one of the first Sikhs that ever landed in the city of Indianapolis. I am a proud American, and maybe one of these days you'll ask me, so KP Singh, tell me about yourself, or your family, or your turban, or your beard, or whatever. There was a huge influx of people from Punjabi and the Sikh community that began in the late 80s and 90s, and it's still continuing. And the population from a few thousand, is maybe close to 10,000 people right here in the state of Indiana. Majority of Sikh sub Punjabis moved here because they were in trucking business. You go 65 highway, you can go to Florida, you can go to Texas, you can go to Cincinnati, you can go to Ohio, you can go to Michigan, you can go to Canada. So this was the crossroads of America. While they're driving their trucks, and why not live in a place where they can have a nice house? Economically, this is a much better place. My husband used to do real estate, and he went and got a job in Indianapolis. So we moved with him. FedEx is a hub here. Around 80% Indian people come to their Punjabi. Punjabi is not the same as the Punjabi. The English is not the same as the Punjabi. The Punjabi is not the same as the Punjabi. The Punjabi is not the same as the Punjabi. The Punjabi is not the same as the Punjabi. You will get everything in America. You have a good life here. More opportunity for every single thing. She was the glue to all of us. She helps everybody through any obstacle that they have. She liked going to work because they could speak their language, they could share food, they were always bringing in stuff for each other. So this was their second family. It's like going to work with your friends. Of course, you're going to be excited to go to work with your friends. I guess the simplest way I could put this if you guys ever know what a god is like, that's what my mom was like. Every time I went to the temple, Gurdwara, everything that they taught over there, like everything that they read out of the holy book, kind of just explained my mom to me, you know? 
that's how good she was. So that's how good hearted she was. Officials have not yet determined why 19-year-old Brandon Scott Hall targeted the FedEx facility, but investigators say he used to work there. Police said the gunman shot and killed himself. The FBI revealing there were warning signs. Hall's mother reported her son to law enforcement. Police found white supremacist websites on the gunman's computer. He was reported by his mother a year ago. He would have been stopped according to the red flag law. Authorities had not deemed Hole subject to Indiana's red flag law, allowing police or family members to petition a state court to temporarily remove a firearm from a person presenting a danger to others or themselves. There was all of this evidence that would support a judge saying this person should not have a gun, but his case never even went to trial. Ultimately, the judge determines whether a person is labeled as dangerous. We presented what we had to the prosecutor's office and that decision from the Marion County Prosecutor's Office was not to move forward. It did not get into court. Although we, we kept the, the gun that we seized, he was still able to go out and legally purchase other firearms. For the sick community, it's not what happened, it's why it happened. When the offender is dead, Unless there's some smoking gun manifesto, you're never going to know the whole story. But what you want to know is a general picture. Why did he target this shift? Who's working this particular shift? What is the security like? What's the workplace culture? The shooter in this case lived, you know, 30 to 40 minutes away and had actually worked at other places and chose this place for a reason. He used to work there. And I'm sure he knew the folks there. Why this took place, it's a question in my mind, and I'm sure it's a question in a lot of people's mind that they want the answer for. The sick community wants investigators to try and figure out the motives behind this mass shooting. The sick community demands answers. We will keep pushing the authorities to keep us updated on all developments. I didn't see a real attempt from the FBI to learn about the workplace culture itself. There was a lack of connection of all the dots that are in play. And then all of a sudden, there is a press conference. The FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit, or BAU, conducted an extensive review of all available evidence and information gathered throughout this investigation. Based on this, BAU assesses that this was an act of suicidal murder, in which the shooter decided to commit suicide in a way which he believed would demonstrate his masculinity and capability while fulfilling a final desire to experience killing people and the shooter did not appear to have been motivated by bias or a desire to advance an ideology. When this was announced, I was there. You know, I picked up the report that time. It says that the shooter considered other targets for an attack, but chose the FedEx location. And I stopped. I said, this, what this means? Why did he? Every day we're questioning, was it because of who we are or was it just because of where we work? For people to keep telling us, no, there wasn't a bias. Like, it makes us feel like we're crazy, like we're making up scenarios in our head. I think all of us question if we're safe here. When you go shooting into a building knowing that this building is full of other ethnicities, the majority of the people that are gonna get hit are the majority of the people that work there. Even though they told us that there wasn't a bias, we're still going to question it. It felt very much like there was a complete lack of transparency in what the investigation entailed, what they were looking at, 
who they were talking to. It didn't feel like this community was given their due in terms of respect. It just felt like dismissal. Every day it's a new challenge, new task, and we're accepting it. We have a commandment from our gurus that stay in the highest spirit, stay in Shardi Kala. Shardi Kala means absolutely passionate, positive spirit. We'll be all right as time passes, but the families have a very long haul. As a community, we are keeping ourselves as safe as we can. And we are still working very hard on this whole idea of sense of belonging. To me, they're worth a lot because they touched my mother's feet. There was a lot of balls dropped. What we were told a week and a half after the incident was pretty much word for word what we were told at the press conference three, four months later. Pretty much word for word. Nothing's ever gonna bring me relief. If you lose one piece to a puzzle, that puzzle is never complete. I didn't lose a mother. I lost my guru. People go back to their normal life again. Apne family nu to see palana, apne aap nu to take care karnia. Men nu mere hisab na ta e chija kithe bhi ho sakdiya ne. So safe ta to see kithe bhi nahi hunde. Life is strong, okay, Jeannie Pendia.